Good morning, everyone. At least it's morning here uh, while I record this video. Um, today I'd like to touch upon uh, one possible customization to the VBA editor, or also referred to as the VBE. Um, and I have uh, an article that I published very recently on the subject. And you'll see here, it's relating to an error. Um, originally, uh, I was just going through some posts on different forums, and I came across this entry by Pat, where she was getting this error. And I thought I'd clarify where the error is coming from and how to actually resolve it. And it's all explained here, and we're going to go over it quickly in this video. Um, if we open, this was originally a blank database, all I've done is I've inserted a standard module and then I created a bogus sub where I put in my error handling. And with this, we're going to be able to demonstrate. Now, what you need to understand is by default, Office VBA is not showing you everything. Certain things are still hidden. And these are referred to as hidden members, so hidden properties and methods and things like that. And just to demonstrate, if we were to come and just, I know I'm looking in the VBA, and I come down to information, you'll see here I have my error, okay? But if we go back to my module for a second, I'm using something called ERL, okay, which is the line number. And... Yeah, and by the way, if you didn't know that, you can use line numbers in your procedures and you can use that in your error handler. And that's what this switch is all about, is if I'm using line numbers, then it will report this exact line number the error occurred on. It's a great functionality. Um, and if we go back here, you'll see ERL does not show up in the list of members for the information class, okay? So as you can see by default, it's not there. And I'm not sure how many of you are aware of it, but whenever you're anywhere in VBA, you can right click and you can say, go to the definition okay, of that property method member. You can also do shift F2, it's the same thing. And you'll see, and this is what Pat was reporting is, she was trying to access uh, the member to get information about something and she was getting this error. Cannot jump to ERL in this case because it's hidden. And as you can see, nothing is listed and it's an error. There's nothing you can do. But the error still tells us clearly what the issue is. It's not that it doesn't exist. It's not saying not found or does not exist, whatever. It's saying that it is hidden. So, in fact, it's telling us it does exist. It's just that it's hidden. You don't have access to it. What you need to note here is the fact that it's hidden doesn't stop it from working. So my error handler, as it is today, works just fine. Even though it's hidden and I can't access its different definition and things like that, the code still works fine. But as a developer, I don't want these things hidden from me. I want to see it all. So how do we see it all? Well, it's actually very easy. If you go back to the object browser, you can use the Shift F2, you can right click definition, or you can just press the button up here. And then anywhere in the class list box area over here, you just right click in it anywhere, it doesn't make a difference. And you'll get this context menu that pops up and you'll see here, show hidden members. So if we just select that and it becomes enabled, now, if we go back to our information class, you'll see ERL now shows. If you pay attention, it's in a lighter gray to distinguish the fact that it's a hidden member. You'll also notice now in the class listing, a whole bunch of new hidden classes are also now there available to you. So what I'm saying here is this is a great opportunity to see what other hidden uh, members are available to you, hidden classes that maybe you can tap into. If we go back to our information now, now when I click on our URL, I have its definition. I now know that it's a function that returns a long. And I, can, I knew this already, but that is part of the VBA information. But perhaps I didn't know that. And if I was back here and I did my Shift F2, you'd see it would automatically bring me to the right location. And then now I would, for the first time, be aware that it was part of the VBA information class. So 
this just just to provide you access to everything okay so nothing's hidden as a developer we don't want these things hidden from us we want to have access to everything so we will make the decision as to what we want to do this isn't being shown to the user so as a developer this is one of the first things you probably should be doing that way vba is unlocked and functional to you and you can do what you need to do so that's the tidbit of knowledge for today I hope uh, this is informative, I hope it's new to some of you, and I wish you all a great day. If you don't mind, like, subscribe, leave me comments below. Were you aware of this? What other nifty tricks are you aware of for the VBA editor? I'd love to get more information and share some more uh, videos of this sort. So if you have other hidden gems, please share in the comments section below. Otherwise, have a great day guys, and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.